Hello! Welcome to our video on how to make uh, Google Maps enabled iOS applications using Swift language from Apple. And the first thing we need to do uh, to make our app is to install a Google Maps SDK. And to do that, let's search for Google Maps SDK uh, for iOS uh, homepage. And once we find that, uh, we will also see the very good guides, uh, which uh, kind of summarizes and, and gives us step-by-step -step instruction on um, how to install the SDK. So let's go through these steps and uh, use some of the detailed instruction also, which is mentioned in this guide. And the first thing we need to do is simply to go to uh, Xcode and to create our application project. <clears throat> so I choose single view app and uh, I will name my application my map. Click next and save it on a desktop. So we have just created our project. Now the next thing we need to do is uh, to use Cocoa Pods to install the SDK. So Cocoa Pods is a widely used uh, SDK management tool by iOS developers, uh, which basically makes the developer productivity uh, much more efficient and better. So what it does is basically allows you to avoid many manual uh, steps of setting up SDKs into your iOS project. So if you want to learn more about uh, this tool, go to this site and it will tell you also how to install it and, and how to operate it. So I have already installed the CocoaPods uh, on my computer. Um, so, <clears throat> and we will proceed to the next step. So, uh, to, in to initialize this tool into our project, we need to go to Mac Terminal. So, you can use the uh, find function, search function uh, on your Mac to, uh, to find it. So, I already opened the window. Uh, so, this terminal is basically a command based um, tool where you can uh, operate and your computer files and handle your files and, and do many operations in your computer by using special commands rather than um, graphical user interface. So, for example, <clears throat> I can um, move to desktop by using um, um, cd or change directory uh, command. So now I, I move to desktop and I want to see what files are located on my desktop. Then I uh, use the command ls and <clears throat> so I can see that one of the files is my map project which I just created and uh, let's uh, move into uh, to this project because we will need to initialize the SDK management tool there. So now if I again run the command ls so we can see that there are just two files inside the folder and what we need to do now is to, to create the pod file uh, which will be later used for the management of SDK or installation of SDK into our project on and to achieve that we use the command pod init to initialize the pod file so i press enter <clears throat> and i have just initialized uh, initialized this pod file so if we move um, to the to the project um, we can see that now pod file has been added after running this command so the next step is that we need to install the Google Maps SDK via this pod file. And to do that, we, we will need to add a few lines into this file. And these lines are um, actually uh, specified in this Google Maps SDK installation guide. So these will be three lines, which I will copy now. And I will move to my project for my map and open the pod file. And what we have here is already a couple of lines and we need to <clears throat> paste our three lines um, between target and end lines in the pod file. So I do paste. So it could look like this. And this also says that please delete, if you are Swift developer, please delete these comments sort of lines. So it's done. Um, next step we need to do is to install this. So now we just sort of specified what we want to do, what we want to install, and now we will um, install uh, this SDK using the terminal command. And for that we will use pod 
install command. So it will take uh, just a little bit of time. Um, let's wait. So installing Google Maps, as you can see, um, and pod install. So what has happened now? If you move back to, to this project, you can see that some files have been added after this process, even the whole folder of pods. Yeah. And now, um, in order to run our project using um, the SDK support, we need to, instead of uh, using the usual uh, the blue icon of Xcode project, we will use the white icon, the workspace. So I click it, and um, I have just opened uh, the project now, and you can see that there is a new node add added uh, called pods, so th that means uh, also that we have installed um, the Google Maps SDK as of now. But this is not where the setup ends, so we need to uh, do a few more steps in order to enable um, Google Maps into our project. And the next step would be to add the um, Google um, API key, which is basically a key um, allowing Google also to control um, the, the API behavior and uh, quota and many other um, uh, criteria into, into this application. And basically, it also serves as identification to connect your application and Google Maps Cloud Service. So, and in order to obtain the, this API key, we, we, we will need to go to what's called um, um, Google Developer Console. So, let's type in Google Developer Console. <clears throat> so don't confuse it with Google Play Developer Console, that's something different, uh, but use a Google Developers Console. And um, once we get into inside, we can see there are many APIs offered uh, by Google, but we, we need to go use Google Maps SDK for iOS, and uh, we choose that. And please note that maybe the process might be slightly different for you if you are a first-time user of Google uh, Developers Console, because there might be some registration process also, uh, steps required, but we assume that you already have done that. And in order to use this uh, SDK for iOS, we need to enable it first by, by clicking here. And meanwhile, you can see that the API key is used as a connection between your application and Google service, so it's a must, uh, must have thing. Um, now the next step we need to um, create a Google um, API, we need to go to credentials, so we use this, uh, and we create uh, <coughs> credentials, okay, and we say yes, API key is what we need, and uh, among these options we will use of course iOS key because we develop for iOS, and just create the key. So now this kind of string is is generated for you, and uh, we will need to basically set up and paste it into uh, our project. So, in order to do that, um, let's just move back a little bit to our uh, guide uh, and the Google uh, Google um, uh, Maps API <coughs> guide. Basically, also is describing it here really, very well that you need to go to App Delegate in your project and add. <clears throat> one line with your API key under the function which includes did finish launching options. Yeah. So I just quickly copy <clears throat> it so I can quickly find it in my Xcode project. So and I go to app delegate, open it, make a quick search. So I find the function I need to update. So I go here, I simply delete the comment and I will replace it with uh, what's being asked by, by Google's SDK. So I copy this line uh, <clears throat> and let's paste it here, right? So, now we have it here like this. And we need to now replace this word with uh, our um, key, which we already have identified, right? We created in, a, in the earlier, ste uh, earlier step. So let's uh, copy it and paste it here. Okay, so, and one more step we need to do is to import Google Maps into this delegate. 
Google Maps. Okay. So uh, that's done, and there is another setup needed before we 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 run the app, which is updating of property list into your project. So if you go back to guide, um, <clears throat> you can find that well here is placed in step seven after adding map, but we can done it earlier just to make sure that things are uh, set up. So we, we need to copy this um, this line, which is basically the declaration of URL schemes, and it's used more for security purposes. And we copy this and we go back to project and open it as um, source code. And uh, just make a new new line here and um, paste it. Okay, so we have pasted and uh, this additional settings and we can just double check that um, um, property list has been updated. And yes, so this stuff is here. So next um, a step will be actually to run the code and uh, in this lesson we will not really analyze much about the the code uh, of um, to, to create a map in our screens of iOS device uh, we just simply copy and paste what what has been suggested by by Google guide <clears throat> to create a map which will um, show uh, Sydney Australia location so I copy this code and I, I go to view controller. Just get rid of this line, it's not necessary. And I will copy this code in uh, view did load function. Okay. And um, that's done. And in order for this code to work, of course, we need to import again the Google, the Google Maps um, library. So that's done. Uh, now let's uh, let's run our application and see how it goes. I will just make it smaller, uh, iPhone six, and run. So, and we are done with our first uh, application. Congratulations! Uh, so, in next videos, we will also have a look at how to uh, change the size of, of this window view and the many other features of Google Maps SDK.